It's Nardwar, the human serviette at Coachella, about to interview Skepta. Who are you? I'm Skepta, Big Smoke. Skepta, welcome to Coachella. Yeah, thanks for having me. Right off the bat, Skepta, I have a gift for you. A Nigeria 70 compilation. Wow. Wow, this is, yeah, this is special. I got this on my phone, but I ain't got it on vinyl. So, oh, thank you. I appreciate it. 1968 to 81. No, I appreciate this. This is like... Yeah, this is the era, man. The Dodge sisters. You get me? Fella Kuti, obviously the GOAT. But yeah, this is the era. So yeah, I appreciate this, man. I'll be listening to this. I was thinking that might be for Tribal Mark II, right? Um, yeah, I could probably use it. I could probably use it. I could probably use it as a soundtrack at some point. What about Sample? Have you sampled any of this yet? No. Do you know what? That's true. I, I tried to sample um, Fella the other day, but it ended up being like more like a house house record. Yeah, more than a rap record, but it was like a house record. The early days, quote, I get love from Houston to Compton from Vancouver. 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 Okay. To Boston. To Boston, yeah. And I'm from Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. No, we know, we know, we know. I loved you through Vancouver in there. Yeah, thank you, man. Obviously, uh, Canada's always shown me love, so it was a, I had to do that. An Edmonton Green Shopping Centre. Oh, hey, nah, bro, what are you doing? <laughs> what? Edmonton Green Shopping Centre. When I think of Edmonton, I think of Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. But Edmonton Green Shopping Centre is important for Skepta, right? No, nah, for sure. That was early days. That's where I used to buy a lot of my music. And that, yeah, that, that's great. I don't know. I don't know how you're doing this. I've seen I see you did it before, but now you're doing it. Again. Well, you are Skepta. We have to know. I knew he was going to say that as well. That's hard. That's hard. Scream Records in Southgate. Raw. Yeah, man. What do you say about Southgate and Scream Records? Yeah, that's obviously that's where I used to get a lot of my original. <laughs> I don't know how you're doing it, but yeah, that's how I used to get a lot of my records like when I was a kid. When I was a, like, like literally when I was a kid, I used to get my records from there. So, yeah. The Winchmore Crew. Yeah, that's my, <laughs> that's my high school. Yeah. The Northumberland Crew. Yeah, raw. Well, that's like, okay, yeah, go on, go on. Okay. The Tottenham College Crew. Yeah. <laughs> I need to know. I need to know like how you do the due diligence. Like I need to understand like how what what's the process, guy? You you taking it way back. Well, you are Skepta, we have to know. And then you're going to say that. That's hard. Like, it's a checkmate, but mad. What can you say about the blue plaques outside of Jammer's studio? That's incredible. History. No, nah, for sure. Obviously, Jammer's a legend, you get me? So um, I always drive around. I see a lot of those blue plaques for different people. So it's, you know, obviously, my, it's, it's great to have my brother have one. It's like, it's like one of the Hollywood stars, you get me? And Jammer's dad was in a band, like Raspan Band? <laughs> Big up Uncle Jerry, man. You know, salute my uncle. Jammer's dad, you know, you get me. You already know. Yeah, go on. Well, did you ever jam with him? Did Jammer ever jam, like family jams with Skepta? I ain't, you know what it is? I ain't, we used to, when we make music, Jammer's dad will come. Wow, crazy. Jammer's dad will forward into the studio and see what we're doing and always give us his little feedback. But yeah, I never really jammed with him in that way, like instrument wise. I have another gift for you, DMB. Yeah, man, I produced that, I produced that. And I have a gift for you, Bohannon, who you sampled for that record. Oh, okay, okay. Yo, this is odd. This is odd. That's a fire cover. What can you say about the creation of that record, DMB? Yeah, there was like, it ended up being a lot of producers end up, because Rocky's like that, he's very like, he's eclectic in his thoughts in it, so he ended up putting a lot of producers on it. But, you know, I, I did the skeleton, 
And um, yeah, it's one of my favorite records that I've made of Rocky because um, I've made a lot. A New York Rocky, you slept on floors of art galleries? <laughs> when did I? Oh, uh, yeah, no, okay, I, I, I remember me saying that. Yeah, no, I used to I used to do that. I used to, when, I, when I went to New York, I used to love it back in the day when you could walk into a random, you know, walk into a random store and just see someone standing on where, like, the cashier desk just rapping and, like, everyone would be in there just having fun. But nowadays, those kind of things are gone. But, um... Those are the days. President T from Birmingham. Yo. Yo, what are you trying to do? <laughs> what are you saying? Yeah, what? That's my guy. Yeah, what I was thinking about was, and I have a gift for you, Skepta, different accents in England. Here is a record about English dialects. Okay. What can you say about the different dialects in England? Because Birmingham, um, this is for you to practice or sample if I you want. What? There was a there was a, a small thought in my mind where I thought I was gonna like try and do all the different accents for you, but um yeah, could you demonstrate no, some of the accents? No, 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 you know it is. I'm not in the like I just come off stage in it, so yeah. I'm a bit wavy, man. So it wouldn't really go well. But what do you think about the different accents, like President T? There's tons of them, aren't there? Yeah, no, President T. He's got a mixture of like London and Birmingham, like his whole family. You get me, Pablo, Big H, Bossy. Um, that's my original crew, you get me? So I think that's what made us really great when we first started in, in, in the UK. We was like a regional crew, so the, the, so all parts of, you know, the UK could really understand us and feel us. So, yeah, it was great. Um, Meridian crew, the originals. Now, I was curious, Skepta. I love grime. Yeah, wow. And if we turn it over, number 15, we have... Yeah, bad to the bone, and we also have Skepta doing it again as well on uh, CD one number fifteen. But you know, and Ed Sheeran and JME. Nah, it's crazy, man. You know, grime is um is an era of the UK that it can never be replaced. You know, it was its own thing, and stuff like CD <laughs> CDs that is it's crazy because now I work with um, Sarah Lockhart, which was you know a heavy part of why Rinse was what it was, but um. I love to keep obviously trust in full circles, you know, is, is important to me. But yeah, it's it's this is a uh, grime grime is a is the reason why I will forever be respected. Cause I did grime. So I, I, uh this stuff is important to me and I love it. I value this shit. And it's amazing Ed Sheeran on there as well. With your brother. No, Ed Ed Ed's in been early, early Ed. Ed's been about. Ed's been about. Before everyone knew of Ed, Ed was definitely doing the roads, streets. Super D. Wow. Where are you going with this? Crazy. Well, you are a skeptic, we have to know. <laughs> you hit me and then you hit man with that after. But Jamma's sister worked with Super D. Yeah, that's Jamma's cousin. That's what we do. Hey, Dardwa, you're going crazy. Like, you're going, you take, like, you're, going, you're superseding everything that you've kind of done before, you know. This is another country, UK, so you know about Jamma and Super D and Sister. Crazy. Family. Big up the powers. Yeah, I guess I was curious about UK rap history. Like, for instance, rest in peace, a gift for you, Skepta Derek B from 1987. Bullet from a gun. That's crazy. And he was one of the first people to have success with rap in the UK. No, I know about Derek B. Man. Yeah, what can you tell the people about Derek B? I know about Derek. I know about. I I, I know this record. I love this record, but it's crazy because I got a song called "Bullet from a Gun" too. Obviously, not not that I got it from this record, but it was like it's it's the next record from this called "Bullet from a Gun." So I'm proud to be another British rapper that has that title. But this is fire, though. I fuck with this. Excuse my language. And that's a gift for you, Skepta. Appreciate you. I appreciate you. And also, another gift for you, speaking of UK rap history, MC Duke. Wow. You say MC Duke. Hey, bro, I ain't going to lie, fam. A lot of people ain't going to know about this. This is like real history. 1989. Now, this is real history. You know, there's a lot of disputes about who was really that, was the pioneers of British rap, but... MC Duke, if is if it's not in the conversation, it's not a real conversation. And it's got instrumentals on it as well, in case you wanna rap over that. Nah, for sure. Look, and it's even got the acapella too. I just dropped my new single, Gas Me Up, 
And um, yeah, I dropped the acapella as well as the song because um, I, I believe that was a format from back in the day that has been lost. You know, like being able to mash up, make mashups of songs. And true, I've been on the decks, I've been DJing and I think like, it was just an incentive for me to get to it. But yeah, acapella, instrumental and vocal, that's how we come. And it doesn't end there, Skepta. Another gift for you, some Rodney P. Original, original. And yeah. what can I say about Rodney P? Because Jamma, his, his first name was like Jamma P. Yeah. What can I say about the P? Um, it's one of those it's one of those things in the UK that we always have like a Super D or a Jamma P, Rodney P. It was just it was just a wave of names. It's how you like you you know the US has like Lil and stuff like that. We used to have like names after uh, letters after our names and stuff. But yeah, this is obviously big up Rodney P. Another pillar in the UK rap industry. This is legendary. And lastly here, Skepta, I give for you the Wee Papa Girl Rappers. The Wee Papa Girl Rappers. Well, From 1988. I ain't gonna lie, yo. Like, you're, you're bossing me right now, still. Check out a Chicago house mix, a Detroit house mix. Because you were saying doing a lot of DJing sort of stuff right now. So what? where are these, where are these girls from? They're from England. I'm not exactly sure where in England, but they're from the UK. No, nah, no, nah, you put me on. You put 1988. me on. 1988. You put me on the Wee Papa Girl Rappers. Heat it up. I'm about to have another swags still. I'm about to have I'm about to pop out with a belt like that. Bust down. Eliante. And winding up here, Skepta, eyes on me. Yeah. More fire crew. You sample more fire crew. Yeah, yeah. There another. You get me. Another pillar in the grime industry. I always used to. Uh, for me, I was listening to that song and I started to feel like the bounce on it was the same as drill. So I thought it would be fire to merge them together and do something futuristic. And peace of mind has a Delphonics. Yeah, Delph. I I love Delphonics. I always played Delphonics in my car. Anyone, anyone who rolls with me will know. I I always played Delphonics. So it was only a matter of time until I sampled that song. And lyric, pay as you go. The sample, pay as you go in lyric. Listen, man. Listen, man. I don't, I don't know how you're doing this, but kudos. I'm grateful to be here on your channel. Pay as you go. Well done for that research there. Important UK rap. Important. Very important, isn't it? Crazy, 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 crazy. If you're talking about grime then yeah pay as you go heartless crew very important that's why i put them on lyrics but yeah i'm kind of you, you're shocked you know what it is you put mine in like a shocked state so i'm kind of thrown aback well i love the history lesson i'm getting and learning from you scam ta ta also dj zinc oh my i'm not going to talk too much because you're doing a lot right now. Divide intervention. You're saying things that are happening outside the door of where we're standing. But I'm not going to go into that too much, Carl. Claude Von Stroke. No, you got... No, all right, stop. I'm done. You're going mad. You're going crazy. Well, let's throw Little B out there. You did a song with Little B. That's incredible. What was that like, doing a song with Little B? An American legend. Yeah, uh, big up Lil B. Um, you know, we to um we all we will always live a bass life. You know, he's a um for me I feel like he was a major shift in 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 the spiritual world of how we live as people. And um, yeah, man, big up Lil B. Go. Dev Hines, he does some uncredited chorus work for you, doesn't he? Yeah, big up Dev, man. Dev is um Blood Orange is uh stays on rotation when when it's time for peace and harmony it's blood orange time and if people listen closely to love me not he's there right yeah yeah <laughs> yeah 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 there's vocals in there De like dev was you get me he was there when we first started love me not in new york electric lady my friend was in london in about 1999 2000 and first heard of you through pirate radio yeah, first when we when we used to start, I feel like that's the fire in my belly that keeps me going. You know, when we when we first started out, I would rap on the radio. People didn't used to see me. People didn't know what I looked like. People just got into the sound that was coming out the speaker. You know, so I, I always hold that close to my heart. 
and um, I never let this like visual shit get too crazy and um, I just keep the talent of the sound coming through the speaker. So pirate radio days, I owe my life to that. How dangerous was it to get into the stations? Because they're like raids, helicopters. It was pretty scary to actually get into the stations. Could you describe that? Yeah, these were like um, very secluded places, you know, like so you had to, every different station had its own way to get into it. But um, yeah, it was a, it, it was intricate plans. I want to shout out everybody who got on the roof and put up an aerial for the um, radio stations to, you know, transmit. And um, because they definitely gave a voice to the youth of the UK in those days. And a whole bunch of like heat, freeze, cool. Anyone who want to shout out? <laughs> um, which one did you say? Heat? Heat, freeze, there's rinse, there's cool. There was tons, there's so many. Yeah, Deja Vu, um, Extreme. That's free shout outs, that's cool. After that, I need to get paid. <laughs> Skepta, yeah. so solid crew, pioneers. Like I mentioned some of the pioneers, but so solid crew. Crazy, man. They were the first um, They were the first guys that we saw on the TV that looked like us, that was uh, changing their lives, um, winning awards, um, feeding their families, um, changing the narrative. Um, so they was a major, major influence in my career. I ended up doing a song with Mega Man on Blacklisted, one of my favorite collabs of all time. Bushkin. Oh my goodness, man. What, how, like, how, like, how, how look, like, how, bro, I'm mad. how are you going? How far are you going? Well, you are Skepta. We have to know. See, you hit my, like, you hit my with that now. Bushkin, Mighty Mo, Fonte, that is foundation. There's no Skep without those guys. Heartless crew. Another pillar. Scarlet and Epsi. Right, no. SP, SP and Scarlet. Yeah, that's my original crew. We used to be on Extreme FM, which I shouted out earlier. That's original. I used to be a DJ those times. And what was it like today at Coachella to perform? Here we go, back in the room. Yeah, Coachella was good, man. I want to shout out all the fans that came to see me. You know, I ain't been there. I think it must be like six, seven years or something. But, um... Yeah, they was all out there. They were showing love. I was, I, I, my energy for some, when I got there, I got, I was a bit jet lagged a little bit, you know what I mean? But, but some, I don't know where the energy came from. It just, I just got some energy, you get me? And I just went crazy. So yeah, I want to shout out all the supporters, man. They keep, they keep supporting me year after year. Even if I don't put out music, they're still supporting me. I'm very blessed, you know, thank God. Um, so yeah, big up. Anything else, Skepta, you want to add to the people out there at all? Um, anything else? I, yeah, just, you get me, stay tuned, man. Because, look, I ain't going to shout about what I'm doing. I'm a kickback type of guy, you know what I'm saying? So to know what I'm doing, you got to stay tuned into what I'm doing because I'm doing a lot. So if you if you, if you you rate me, you get me I'm saying, stay tuned to what I'm doing. Um, i got a lot going on. And, uh, yeah, I'm grateful for all the love and shout outs. Why should people care about Skepta? Why should people care? Because I'm that guy here who's going to break the fourth wall, you know? I feel like uh, a lot goes on and uh, a lot of people are hush, but I'm the guy who breaks the fourth wall. I'm the guy who looks at the camera and tells the viewers what's really going on in the room, you know? So, And I understand that about myself. I understand I'm outspoken. I'm like a Tupac kind of guy, you know what I mean? But um, I, all I want to do is uh, show the real. That's it. Well, thanks very much, Skepta. Keep on rocking in the free world and do, 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 do. Great. Wow. Wait for that moment in my life. Nadwa. What up? Hi, Steve. I the brother's still locked in. Nadwa. Tell me. Rock man, the party truck. Yeah.